Good morning, greetings friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of a vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your vitality and health and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human body is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis. And while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health challenges challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you. Our number today is 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you want to contribute to the conversation, if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you have questions about formulations or ingredients or something you heard about or read about, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. If you would like to purchase any of the Longevity products you hear advertised on the program, you can head over to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase products right off the website. We've got a blog up at criticalhealthnews.com and pharmacistben.com. have great videos up as well at criticalhealthnews.com, and you can purchase products right off the sites. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the websites as well, or you can call the phone team. At 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. And if you would like to check out our Truth Treatment products, truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Make sure to take a look at our Retinol 5% Gel and Truth Balm and Truth Serum and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream. No filler, no wax, no water, no emulsifier, no silicon, no preservative, no fragrance, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. Just 100% active and functional ingredients in all our Truth Skin Health products. You can check them out at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, we are talking about progesterone. Unlike the more well-known and popular estrogen, its colleague, its hormonal colleague, progesterone is unlike estrogen in the sense that it's gentle, it's non-toxic, and it is associated with a slew of health benefits. Unlike estrogen, which is toxic and has some benefits for sure, but it's really, really, really not anywhere near in the same category as progesterone when it comes to gentleness and its benign nature. Progesterone is just super gentle stuff, although you still need to have a prescription for the big doses of it. Progesterone does have, if you take too much, you get a little drowsy. That's the one knock on progesterone. Progesterone is involved in stimulating growth factors, especially epidermal growth factor, which is important for the skin. Progesterone is a key ovulation hormone. Progesterone helps you get pregnant. It's involved in keeping the egg healthy. Progesterone reduces spasms for folks dealing with asthma, relaxes smooth muscle. It's an anti-inflammatory agent. It supports the immune system, unlike estrogen, which activates the immune system. Progesterone normalizes blood flow and blood clotting and the tone of blood vessels. It's important for zinc. It's important for copper. It helps oxygenate cells. What what more do you want from a supplement, actually, for a a, a hormone? All non-toxic, folks. All with a benign nature. It can uh, help reduce the risks of cancers, particularly endometrial cancer. It's involved in blood sugar control. It's involved in pancreatic health. And yesterday we talked about all of the mental health benefits that you get from uh, progesterone. Progesterone can help you wean off of cigarettes or any drugs for that matter. 
And of course, it helps balance out estrogen. Estrogen, unlike progesterone, has a toxic profile and one of maybe the most important roles for progesterone is to balance out estrogen. Balancing out estrogen is super, super important for almost all inflammatory health issues, even if you're a man. Balancing out estrogen can be an incredibly important strategy. In fact, that alone makes progesterone super duper valuable. It helps balance out the effects of estrogen. There are other nutrients that can help balance out the effects of estrogen, and they're all important. Vitamin E, selenium, has a balancing out effect on estrogen. We'll talk later today about something called uh, CLA, which can do that. Progesterone balances out estrogen. This is why these days, actually for the last 30 years or so, but only recently did doctors follow the protocol correctly over the last 10 years. In pharmacy school, they used to always tell us, make sure progesterone is always associated with estrogen when people are taking hormone replacement therapy. And when I first graduated pharmacy school, I was shocked at how few prescribing physicians paid attention to this. Although now it's changed, now that the toxic profile of estrogen is becoming more and more well known. So progesterone always should accompany estrogen if you're doing hormone replacement therapy. And if you are what is called estrogen dominant, that is you're producing lots of estrogen or you're exposed to lots of estrogen in some level, progesterone can be very, very valuable. Estrogen dominant syndrome is not uncommon. If you're infertile, there's a good chance that you have estrogen dominant syndrome. If you have PMS issues, there's a good chance you have estrogen dominance. One of the most tragic or one of the saddest forms of estrogen dominance or manifestations of estrogen dominance is something called PCOS. Now, it's not deadly, you know, it's not going to kill you quickly, but it's just cosmetically a bummer. Now, it's not good hormonally either, and it, in the long run, people who have PCOS are more prone towards other issues, including an early demise, but PCOS primarily when it's occurring is just a tragic issue because it's so cosmetically uh, concerning. PCOS stands for poly cystic ovarian syndrome. Polycystic meaning you're making lots of cysts, ovarian in the ovaries. Poly and it's causing a whole bunch of problems. Syndrome. Polycystic ovarian syndrome, PCOS. You're making lots of cysts in your ovaries and it's causing lots of headaches, lots of problems. That's what a syndrome is. PCOS affects maybe 5 million people, 5 million women in this country. Some as young as 10 years old or 11 years old. And doctors will tell you they don't know what causes PCOS. It's unknown. They'll blame genetics. But if you understand biochemistry, if you understand how the body works, it's pretty obvious how it works, how PCOS starts. It's an insulin issue and it's an estrogen issue. And then you get male hormones involved later on. Primarily, it's an insulin issue and it is an estrogen issue. And this is such a bummer, so tragic because... It's so easy to resolve. It's so easy to resolve. We control our insulin. And in a very large measure, we control our estrogen as well. So between insulin and estrogen, you've got the formation of ovarian cysts, and then you run into all kinds of headaches because the cysts produce their own hormones. So you got cysts, you got uh, insulin, and you got estrogen. And between these three, you end up with weight gain, obesity, breakouts, oily skin, facial hair, reproductive issues, pelvic pain, menstrual problems, PMS. It's a nightmare. Ask any woman who's dealing with PCOS. It's a nightmare. And it's so darn easy to address. You address the, you address the estrogen and the insulin. Now, it's not only the estrogen and the insulin, because later on you've got the male hormones, you've got testosterone, but to start, you address estrogen and you address insulin. Doctors will give you anti-diabetic medicine, some medication sometimes, or they'll give the birth control pill. Not a solution. Dumb solution, but that's our medical strategy. It's not the doctor's fault. It's the medical protocol. It's the medical strategy. Birth control pills and metformin if you have PCOS. But what I'm telling you is you don't need a doctor and you don't need drugs. Because controlling insulin and controlling estrogen involve how we eat and how we live our lives. It's very, very easy. If you're dealing or you know somebody who's dealing with any, with any, any of the signs of PCOS or PCOS, please, please, please have them listen to this program or, or uh, you listen to this program. Take notes because I'm going to tell you what to do when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We are back on the bright side. 
Our number, 844-236-6010. Got lines open for you, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Today and every day, we are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific and 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products right off the website, brightsideben.com. You can also sign up to join the Brightside Ben team right off the website, brightsideben.com. And I also encourage you to check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com. Okay, so if you're dealing with PCOS issues, polycystic ovarian syndrome issues, there's nothing your doctor can do, no surprise there. They can uh, give you the drugs that will force your pancreas to do what it doesn't want to do or force your liver to do what it doesn't want to do or make your liver do more work than it has to do because it's got to detoxify all those drugs. That's, that's one of the hidden, hidden problems with prescription drugs. And the more you take, the more your liver has to do. Taking prescription drugs, aside from the side effects, puts a burden on the liver and it costs us nutrition. So if you're taking metformin or the birth control pill for PCOS, not only is it not helping you, although it may mask your symptoms a little bit, but it's costing you nutrition. It's costing your liver's energy. It's it's robbing your body of precious resources. But you don't need the drug, so it doesn't really matter. You're dealing with a lifestyle issue with PCOS, okay? I, I know, I hope that's not politically incorrect to say, but that's what it is. It is what it is. It's a food issue and it's a lifestyle issue. And the medical model will infantilize us and take advantage of our of our reluctance to accept responsibility. But it's what we're doing. PCOS is a hormonal issue and it's a lifestyle issue and it's a food issue. And we can do a lot about it. And considering how tragic it is and considering what a bummer it is for people who are dealing with it, it seems to me like that's the way you want to approach it. First of all, you got to control the foods. Now, estrogen is involved. And we said earlier, estrogen is involved and, and uh, insulin is involved, both of which have a major, major food component. Estrogen is processed at the intestinal level and the liver level. So between the intestine and the liver, you have the two major parts of the body that you want to focus on if you're dealing with any estrogen issues. Estrogen dominance syndrome or infertility or autoimmune diseases or estrogen-dependent cancers like breast cancer and some colon cancers. If you're dealing with estrogen issues, focus on the intestine and focus on the liver first. There's other things you need to do for sure, but focus on the intestine and the liver, both of which are the digestive system. That shouldn't be no surprise to anybody listening to this program for more than three days. It's all about the gut, i.e. the intestine. Well, more than the intestine, but the intestine and the liver and the stomach and the pancreas and the gallbladder. But, but when you're focusing on the gut, the first thing you want to focus on is the intestine and the liver, especially if you're talking about estrogen. Estrogen is processed in the intestine. It gets broken down. And these breakdown products of estrogen, technically they're called catechol estrogens, but they're breakdown products of estrogens. This is what's responsible for the disastrous symptomology associated with estrogen dominance and estrogen toxicity. That means probiotics and fermented foods, bacteria in the gut play an uber important role, an unbelievably important role for helping the body process estrogen. It's for so many reasons, which we've talked about here over the last five years, really, but especially in the last couple of months. Bile and ferment, uh, fermented food, uh, sorry, bile and fiber both play a major role in probiotics. Between probiotics, bile and, bile and fiber, you have three major areas that you want to work with when it comes to taking care of the intestine. Probiotics, bile, and fermented foods. Fermented foods give you fiber. I'm sorry, fiber. Fermented foods give you fiber. So between fiber, fiber, bile, and probiotics, you've got three areas that you want to work, work with when it comes to taking care of estrogen. And fermented foods do double duty. They give you fiber and they give you probiotics, which is why fermented foods can be so helpful. Oh yeah. And they give you acids, specifically something called short chain fatty acids. 
SCFAs, which we've talked about in the past. So fermented foods are incredibly important, invaluable for dealing with estrogen problems. Fiber, you can grind up your own fiber with flax seeds in a coffee grinder. And then a, a good probiotic supplement. Everybody, everybody really, but especially if you're dealing with an estrogenic health issue or PCOS, nightly essence, nine capsules a day. Ultimate enzymes, they'll get you bile salts, and it will also help you, obviously, because it has enzymes, and it'll also give you some stomach acid. All of these can be important for helping the body clear estrogen and process estrogen. Use veggie juices. Veggie juices get you fiber, and veggie juices are very filling. And make sure you're on your ultimate EFAs. If you're dealing with PCOS, not only are you dealing with problems with estrogen and problems with insulin, but you're also dealing with inflammation. And EFAs are anti-inflammatory, particularly omega-3s. Omega-6s are important also. In fact, there's a special kind of omega-6. Sometimes you'll hear nutritionists say, oh, you don't worry about omega-6s. I don't buy that. You have more omega-6s in your body than omega-3s, first of all. So in a way, you need more omega-6s than omega-3s from a supplement. Now, they'll say, oh, well, we get lots of oils that contain omega-6s. Yeah, maybe, but we cook those oils, and those oils are usually processed, so we don't get the omega-6s. So it could very well be, even though we're ingesting lots of the oils that should contain the omega-6s, that we're deficient in omega-6s too. So omega-6s need to be supplemented with as well as omega-3s in my opinion. Now, there's a special kind of omega-6 which we haven't really talked about and you don't hear very many people talking about this stuff. It's called CLA, conjugated linoleic acid, CLA. CLA is uh, found in, um, in grass. So animals that eat grass are high CLA, con they'll concentrate the CLA, so they're good, good sources of CLA. That is grass-fed dairy and grass-fed meat. That's the best way to get CLA from foods. You can also buy it as a supplement, and it's a good supplement. There's a lot of benefits associated to CLA, actually. For one thing, it helps balance out estrogen. It's a great way to help balance out estrogen. It's also involved in weight loss. It can help you lose body fat. It's also involved in fighting cancer, partially because it helps block estrogen. In a 2005 article in the journal Critical Reviews in Food Science and Nutrition, CLA was shown to inhibit the effects of multiple types of cancer and at relatively low dietary levels. Small amounts of CLA have been shown to shrink tumors of the breast, tumors of the lungs, tumors in the stomach, skin cancer, benefits from CLA supplementation. And CLA also has benefits directly for the intestine, according to research from Virginia Tech. 50% of tested patients suffering from Crohn's disease, which is a kind of irritable bowel disease, 50% of, of tested patients demonstrated a, quote, marked improvement and uh, in disease activity and quality of life, unquote, by supplementing with CLA, according to Dr. Raquel Hontesias, a professor of immunology at Virginia Tech. Probiotic bacteria, good bacteria in the gut, actually make their own CLA. And she thinks, and I agree, that it might be possible to increase CLA levels and improve intestinal health by using probiotics. Just another good reason to make sure you're getting a daily dose of your nightly essence and eating your fermented food. Sauerkraut, miso, tempeh. Get a book called The Art of Fermentation. It's got great, easy recipes for uh, making your own fermented foods. All right, we'll take a break and come back with more good health information on the Bright Side right after this. Okay, we are back on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. 844-236-6010. We'll get you in just a moment. If you're on hold, if you're uh, interested in checking out our Truth Skin Health products, you can head over to truthtreatments.com, check out our retinol 5% gel and other vitamin C enriched, vitamin C potent, vitamin C loaded Truth products. I mean loaded. Truth Serum is almost 80% vitamin C. You're not going to see that anywhere in a department store, folks. Truth Balm, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, so amazing for sunburn, diaper rash, eczema, any kind of healing. It's also a great moisturizer. And our Retinol 5% Gel. If you're dealing with acne or oily skin or hyperpigmentation associated with PMS, hyperpigmentation is another thing that happens to folks who are dealing with PCOS. Retinol can be amazing. 
you know, I market the retinol product for anti-aging, but for folks who have acne or, or dark spots, hyperpigmentation, retinol can be very, very powerful. From the journal Skin Inc., which is a trade journal for the skincare industry, scientists have discovered, check this out, the future of skin pigmentation control. Now, what would that be? According to Skin Inc., anyway, scientists have discovered the future of skin pigmentation control. That means if you're dealing with dark spots, Female sex hormones, yes. Researchers at the University of Pennsylvania have found that pigment cells interact with progesterone and estrogen to, get this, lighten or darken the skin. Yes, estrogen, whether it's coming from PCOS or pregnancy or the birth control pill, or if your estrogen balance is being thrown off, that can make you pigment. Well, retinol is a great way to help lighten pigmentation. And guess what? So is progesterone. Surprise, surprise. How do you like that? You can add that to the long list of benefits that you get from progesterone is it is actually a skin lightener, at least according to this research that's published. Uh, this was published in... Uh, it showed up in Skin Inc. here. I'm not sure. It's from the University of Pennsylvania. Hormones found key to safe skin lightening and tanning. Okay, tomorrow we'll continue talking about CLA and we'll talk some more strategies for helping folks deal with polycystic ovarian syndrome. Super tragic constellation of symptoms that is so unnecessary. You target your estrogen, you target your insulin, and later on down the road you got to work with a little bit of the male hormone, but basically you target your estrogen and target your insulin. And there's so many non-medical ways, non-pharmacological ways to do this. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you. Let's go to Lori in Austin. Good morning, Lori. Welcome to the bright side. Hey, how you doing? Doing good. What's going on? Okay, just a quick rundown. I'm 45. I was diagnosed with a follicular thyroid cancer this month. Mm. I had a tumor removed 1.4 centimeters, and mm. it came back like minimally vas with minimal vascular invasion. Mm, listen they to you. You're they're... learning a lot about health there, it sounds like, Lori. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I don't mean to swear. Yeah, so, <laughs> okay. so, yeah, so I'm doing research. Um, they're recommending a thyroidectomy. I'm going to be getting a couple second opinions. I know that with thyroidectomy... Get a third and a fourth. Get a third yeah. and a fourth and a fifth before you have your thyroid taken out. Now, you may need to. Uh, I'm not buying it just yet. I'm sorry, I interrupted you. What were you saying there at the end? No, no. I'm just yeah. I was going to say if they get the if I get a thyroidectomy, I'm being told that I'll have to take radioiodine treatment, and that's scaring me like crazy because I'm reading all this stuff. I don't want to take another poison. You should be. You should be and scared. So, yeah, it's good. It's healthy. Not, possibilities of Gerson or going to Mexico and I'm just kind of curious about Let me give I you my do. take on it. Let me give you my take on it, okay? And, and yeah. Gerson's great and there's a lot of people who have different ideas. You might want to check Ty Bollinger's work out. There's a, there's a lot of great people who are talking about cancer, but I'm going to give you my take on it, which is a little different. Okay, first of all, if you have your thyroid taken out, you are set up for suffering for the rest of your life. Okay, now if you have cancer and it's like spreading, you don't have a choice, that's one thing. But if you do and you can avoid it, do not let anybody tell you that it is just a routine thing and it's not, you just take Synthroid and you're, you're good. It's just a, a headache. I, I keep saying a headache. It's a, it's a nightmare. It's, a, it's miserable. Okay? Because the thyroid regulates everything. Everything. And this is the clue to dealing with thyroid cancer or any thyroid issues. The thyroid is responsive to the adrenal glands. The adrenal glands give you emergency energy, okay? The thyroid gives you regular energy. Does that make sense? The, the yeah. adrenal glands give you energy when you're under stress. And by the way, without a thyroid, you're going to be running on adrenal energy the rest of your life. Adrenal energy is coffee energy. It makes you jittery, okay? Does that right. make sense? All right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So and you're probably dealing with you put that. That's probably how you're running right now on coffee on yeah. that kind of jittery <laughs> energy. I'm sure. I'm yeah. sure because your adrenal glands are picking up all the slack here. So here's right. the thing. When the adrenal glands are burdened, they're overworked. The thyroid will eventually start to compensate by slowing down because if the thyroid is cranking out thyroid hormone and you're all energized and your adrenal glands are cranking out cortisol and you're all energized, the body has to slow down somewhere and it will slow down the thyroid, not the emergency. So the thyroid will slow down secondary to or following adrenal activity the next thing that happened the next thing that's involved is the digestive system 
the major reason why we have thyroid problems, not necessarily cancer, but in general why the thyroid gets messed up is because of digestive issues, which also can cause adrenal problems. So what I'm saying to you here is you've got to calm the body down. And you might, if you've listened to this program for any more than two shows, you know that I say this all the time. You've got to calm the body down. That's, when the body's calm, it's re being regulated by what's called the parasympathetic nervous system. Have you heard me okay. say that before? You've heard that term? Yeah. You probably, mm -hmm. in your research, you probably come up on that. The, 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 uh, the uh, and, and other side of the equation is the sympathetic nervous system. The balancing out nervous system is the sympathetic nervous system. That's your emergency nervous system. No healing occurs under sympathetic over, when the body is in sympathetic overdrive. So you gotta calm the body down and activate the parasympathetic nervous system. That's first of all. That alone, okay. that alone may restore your thyroid back, to, at least partially back to health. It certainly will take the burden off of it and it will accelerate okay. the healing process. So listen, my dear, you've gotta start to do everything you could do to relax your body. And there's many ways to do it. There's mental strategies and emotional strategies. Don't underestimate those. They're important. Visualization, positive thinking, spirituality, they're all important. The next thing you can do to calm, the, and I, I'm not going to, you know, that's not what, what this program is about, but it needs to be addressed. Those need to happen. Then you can calm the body down physiologically. That means mechanically. First of all, it means mechanically. That means massage, Reiki, yoga, hot baths, um, uh, meditation, anything you could do to relax the body, o oxygenation, respiration. And oxygenation and respiration don't, don't, don't only relax the muscles, they also have a, a relaxing effect on the biochemistry. And speaking okay. of the biochemistry, in addition to oxygenation and carbon dioxide, correct respiration, you also want to make sure that you're relaxing the body biochemically. And that chiefly means no sugar, none, Zippo. Nobody should be okay. eating a lot of sugar, but you especially. That means a ketogenic diet, low carb, high fat. Have you heard of the ketogenic diet? Have you heard us talking about yeah. that? Be uh -huh. very helpful for you. Very, very, very helpful. Cancer loves sugar. And then using nutrients that help the body process sugar. The B vitamins, the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, selenium, the ultimate selenium, fiber, chromium, vanadium, the sweeties, anything you could do to help your body process sugar in addition to min minimizing your intake of it. Okay? Now so it's also eliminating coffee and chocolate and all those things. It wouldn't hurt you to eliminate coffee and chocolate. Absolutely. You're you know, you're in a serious battle here, my dear. Okay? I'm, I don't mean to be, you know, I don't want to make it miserable for you, but hang on, because there's more I don't want to say. Don't go away. There's lots more to talk about. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. If you're in the Minnesota area, Roseville, Minnesota, I'll be doing a talk on Thursday, this Thursday, May the 5th, from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Roseville Skating Center, 2661 Civic Center Drive, Roseville, Minnesota, 55113. Starts at 7. Distributors, longevity distribu uh, distributors pay $5. Guests are free. So bring guests if you are a longevity distributor. And if you're a guest, just come on down. Tell them that you heard about it on the bright side. There's going to be giveaways, and I'll be doing my, uh, my bright side philosophy talk, which we don't get to talk about in this program too much because we're always talking about specifics please come by roseville skating center 2661 civic center drive roseville minnesota 55113 and that is this thursday may the 5th from 7 to 9 p.m okay back to the phones we go we're talking to uh lori in austin okay lori you there so far so good yeah, i'm here Okay, yep, so, so, far, far so, so, so far so good. So far so good, good. Okay, then the next thing you're going to do is you got to work on the digestive system. This represents, okay. a, for a couple of reasons. Number one, this represents a major burden on the body, leaky gut syndrome, and guaranteed you're dealing with that. Uh, number one, okay. cancer is associated with it. Number two, if you have a thyroid problem, the thyroid regulates the gut. So you got to patch up the gut. you got to start doing caloric restriction, intermittent okay. fasting. Uh, the literature on intermittent fasting and cancer is stupendous on fasting okay. and cancer. So intermittent fasting, caloric restriction, cancer loves calories, it loves sugar, keeping the calories down, making sure you're nutriated, but keeping the calories down. Um, okay. And then liquefying your foods, bone soup with cartilage. Cartilage has anti-cancer properties and the protein from the bone soup is easy for the body to process. Vegetable juices for coating the digestive system. Get on the best probiotic supplement you can find, which I consider to be the nightly essence. Use digestive enzymes with all of your meals. Apple 
cider vinegar. You notice I'm not giving you any remedies for cancer here. I'm telling you how to treat the right. body. The body will take care of the cancer. So I, I have a problem with the remedy thing, how you kill cancer. I, I, that's not that's medical stuff. Even if it's a naturopath right. or now, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's like a, yeah, a yeah. well-meaning uh, herbalist, it's still killing things. I want to make the body strong. The body will take care of the cancer. Okay, right. then, uh, so you're working on the digestive system, all the things you could do for digestive health. Get on a great nutritional supplement program, the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients, the Healthy Star Pack, sip on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine all day long. Use selenium, which is very important for building glutathione. In fact, if I were you, Lori, I would uh -huh. be getting intra intravenous glutathione. I'd be using intravenous. Do you know what glutathione is? It's the body's major cancer fighter, and it's produced okay. in the liver, but we're under duress. We don't make it. Well, when we're not nutritionally competent, we're not making as much. So you might want to just stick okay. that right in the blood. Same with vitamin C. I would be doing intravenous vitamin C, and I'd be doing intravenous chelation therapy as well. Okay? okay, all of those. You might want to consider a hyperbaric oxygen chamber too, if they have one locally. You know, if it's easy to get to, I would be doing that as well. Um, of course, all the, the thyroid nutrients are also important, but they're not so much important to cure anything. They're important for the thyroid. Iodine is very important. You're probably burning through it if you have adrenal yeah. problems and thyroid problems. So you want to make sure you're on iodorol if you're not already. Uh, selenium is also very important for for thyroid hormones. Sulfur, MSM is important uh, for thyroid hormones. Uh, let's see what else. What else can we get you here? Um, uh, the magnesium can be helpful, and I already told you about the B vitamins, but the B vitamins and magnesium can be used intravenously, so you might want to consider that as well. Okay, I hope I helped you. That's a ton of information. Right. There's probably more. Right. Oh, one last thing, pregnenolone. You might want to get some pregnenolone or even some progesterone. Pregnenolone for sure, but you might want to get some progesterone too, topical progesterone cream. Okay? Okay. Thank Ta you so much, everybody. God bless you, Lori. Good luck with everything. Thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. take care. Bye-bye. All right, let's go off to, uh, off to Russia. What's up, Kevin? Hey, Kevin ben. P., how you doing, man? I'm all right. Um, could you recommend something? I've got awful allergies this year. I've never really had allergies to trees, but this year it's awful. Okay. Well, here's the deal. With all allergies, and we are in allergy season, work on the immune system because allergies represent a burden on the immune system. And what does that mean? Where's the immune system located? Oh, you know, I forgot to tell Lori something. In the gut. Exactly, Kevin. Hey, Lori, if you're listening, one very important thing is move your lymph. Bounce that. Get on a rebounder. Circulate the lymphatic system. All the toxins from the cancer are, are eliminated through the lymphatic system. And you too, Kevin, that goes for you as well. When you have allergies, there's a clogging that goes on. As the lymphatic system becomes clogged and the circulatory system becomes clogged from, from dirt, from uh, uh, toxins and from, from allergens, I should say, and uh, white blood cells and the body's response to that, Moving the body is very helpful. You know, so allergies. As, 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 as bad as I feel, I should yes. move more. Yes. Yes, as bad as you feel. That's a very good point because you don't feel like moving when you feel crappy. Uh, definitely but, not. Right? I, just I know. To just lay down. I know, I got it, but it's helpful to move a little bit. Now, laying down is also important. It's a little bit of it's a little bit of movement and a lot of rest. That's how you want to look at it. A little bit of movement, and a lot of rest for all health challenges. A little bit of movement and a lot of rest. That's how the body likes it. A little bit Did of I stress and a on, lot of rest. Um, Rebound. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. Double up on the probiotics. Double up on the probiotics and anything you could do for the gut. See if you notice that the allergies get worse when you eat certain foods. And that will imply that the allergy system or the immune system is being overloaded. There's this phenomena in when it comes to allergic reactions called load or immune load. Yeah. And that's a straw that breaks the camel's back phenomena. So you may not necessarily take the, you know, the allergies represent one straw. You may not be able to take care of the pollen or the, or the uh, allergens from the trees. That's a straw. Straw, but you can take other straws off, and another straw may be a food intolerance that you're dealing with, or or, or for sugar for that matter, which suppresses the immune system. So as you're, you may not may not necessarily take the one straw off the camel's back that you think is causing the problem. It could be other ones, and the camel will then become stronger. That, that's kind of a weird metaphor. I hope I I, I made that yeah, clear. Yeah, I understand what you're saying, but it's definitely the trees. It was it was yeah. starting to bloom here, then it got cold again for three or four weeks. And then it, everything is blooming. It could easily be the trees. No, no. It could easily be the trees. That's right. But you can't get rid of the trees. You know, you're not right. going to chop the trees down. you got to live with the trees. It. What's that? Yeah. Yeah, so you got to live with the trees. So you, what you want to do is you want to work on the gut because that's where you can work. That's what I'd be focusing on. Vitamin C also has wonderful yeah. antihistaminic effects. So make sure you're taking high doses of vitamin C. Well, oh, vitamin yeah. C is, is su supremely important. And I think I'm, 
I hope I said that to, I, th- I did say that to Lori. Okay, does that help, Kevin? Yeah. Well, All right, man, good luck with everything. And thanks right for those Facebook posts. I got the probiotics in, in uh, the refrigerator. And, yes, and uh, borscht. I guess I'll have some more uh, sour Borscht, pie. Kevin, borscht. Do they have? Do you guys do borscht out there? Fermented yeah, beet well, soup. Yeah, not here. So. <laughs> okay. Well, well, then maybe go to the go to the borscht fast food restaurant. Do they have borscht fast food places in Russia? I don't know about that. I'm stay clear of fast food. Okay. What do they have? What fast food is in Russia? What's the What's the popular? Well, they do uh, have you know like uh, family restaurants here. It's not. It's a sit down restaurant. You no drive throughs. Stand on the line. You get served. Then you pay. And then you said it's, it's like home food, but someone else is cooking it. Okay. Do they have drive throughs Sure. There's, there's, actually, in my area, Burger King opened up. Okay. But, uh, um, I don't know about that stuff. And well, I, I mean, I'm thinking McDonald's and in, in no, no, eight, Kevin. I'm years. thinking like I'm, Kevin. Listen, I'm thinking local local cuisine, fast food. Yeah. Right. Do they not not chain yeah. stuff? Yeah. Kind of, kind of. It's uh, some of them that you're suggesting is iffy quality. <laughs> okay, okay, I got gotcha. you. It's better to cook your own. Okay, I got it, man. I hope I helped you, Kevin. Good luck with everything. Okay. Thanks for calling. Thanks for calling, man. Kevin does my does the Facebook posts. If you guys want to review our programs, Kevin posts all the bright side programs on my Facebook page um, so you can always review programs and he, somehow he takes the commercials out so there, it's kind of cool you get just the, just the information alright Steve in Pennsylvania what's up my friend yes uh, I'm wondering Ben what is the difference between the preg- preg- progesterone pregnenolone DA and DHEA and why is the DHEA, DHEA so important uh, okay. I also want to have a question about uh, butter and, and fats. Well, you'll have to. Oh, oh, we're going to run out of time here, but just to, on the first three, the, we only have about 30 seconds here. So I'm going to just ask the one. I'm just going to answer the one question, then we'll talk, we talk about grass fed stuff tomorrow if you like, and CLA. Uh, give me a call then. So, progesterone. Uh, the three major youth and fertility hormones are pregnenolone, progesterone, DHEA. Pregnenolone is the first one. It's called the mother of all hormones. Everything is derived from pregnenolone, including progesterone, which is the next hormone. Pregnenolone gets turned into progesterone. From progesterone, two things can happen. One of two things can happen. Either progesterone can, can be converted into cortisol and cortisol-like substances, stress hormone, and this will happen if you're under stress. If you're not under stress, lucky you, because the progesterone will get converted to DHEA, and then the DHEA will get converted into the youth and fertility hormones, estri- uh, testosterone and estrogen. So DHEA goes to make sex hormones, progesterone goes to make either sex hormones or stress hormones, depending on the circumstances. It's the cross point. It's the it, it's the fork in the road, progesterone. And pregnenolone is the first one. That's the one that comes right from cholesterol. It's essentially a tweaked version of cholesterol. Hope that helps, Steve. Thanks for your call. All right, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Tomorrow we'll continue talking about CLA and progesterone, and uh, and then we'll get into some uh, DHEA stuff on The Bright Side. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.